Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a double line brush in Procreate. So we're going to start with a brand new document and it's going to need to be square because we'll be creating a brush. Now you'll need to be using black as well so just make sure that you have black selected as your colour. If you're unsure go to value and make sure that the values are for the red, green and blue channels, zero for each of them. Then we're just going to draw a circle. I'm just going to check what brush I'm using. I have a inking brush here that is a studio pen that is just a mono line, but you can use practically any brush at all. All you want to be doing is creating a couple of circles. So let's just create a circle up here, a smallish sort of circle. And I'm going to fill that with my black. So I'm just dropping the color into it. Now I want a second circle just this size so I'm going to duplicate my layer and I'm going to move this circle so I'm going to the move option select and move. I'm going to use magnetic so I can just drag this down to the bottom part of the document. I'm going to merge these two layers together and I think I'm just going to move that just a little bit down. Okay we're good to go. So I'm going to the wrench icon, make sure I've tapped on add. I'm going to tap copy canvas. So I'm making a copy of the canvas. Now we'll go to the brush. I'm going to create a brand new brush. So I'm going to do that in just one of my groups. I'm just going to put it into junk stuff for now, but you can put yours in a category that you have specially created or in a category that already exists. We'll go to shape and we're going to paste in our shape. So we'll go to edit and then import and paste. And that pastes in the circles that we just copied. Now we need to flip this. So we need to make what's black, white and what's white, black. So you're just going to tap with two fingers to invert it and tap done. Now for grain, you're just going to use the standard grain source, which is when we go to edit and import and go to source library, it's going to be this blank one here. So it's just a solid grain. So we're done with that. Now we'll have a look and see how the brush is painting. At the moment it's reasonably good, but there are a few things we'll need to do to it. I'm going to reduce the spacing back to very small spacing because that will mean it's going to paint a bit smoother. I'm going to add some streamlines so that it's going to follow the pencil a little bit better. At the moment you can see that we're not getting the sort of double lines like this all the way through our brush strokes. Well we can solve that in the properties area. So go down to properties and you're going to disable orient to screen and then it should work a lot better. It's not working better right now but it should be fine by the time we go back out to Procreate. So let's just give it a go. I'm adding a new layer. I'm just going to turn off the existing layer and let's just try our brush. Okay, so the brush isn't working quite correctly yet. It's nearly there, not quite. The problem is that the brush is not rotating correctly. So let's again go back to the brush, tap on it, and then we'll go to shape. And what we need to do with the shape is we need to rotate it. So we're going to wind it all the way up to 100%. So then it becomes follow stroke. Let's go and try that now. And now we have our double line brush. So there are a couple of things there to note when you're creating brushes for yourself. One of them is that orient to screen is a deal breaker. It can often be the difference between a brush working and it just being an unmitigated disaster. And also you want to just be looking at your shape rotation because sometimes for brushes like this, when you have the rotation set to follow stroke, you get what you want, don't have it enabled and you don't get what you want. I hope this video has helped you with creating a double line brush in Procreate. Thank you very much to the subscriber who asked for this video. I think it's a really good brush to be creating. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.